Welcome back to another one guys. Today we've got something special. We gotta head to the farm. I got something pretty cool to show you. But as you know, I can't do anything without coffee. Alright guys, we made it down to the farm. A little windy in case you uh, can't tell. I'm sure you can tell. I do have the dead cat on here, but it's a little windy. One degree. Got my truck back there. We are walking up to the corner. That's the Y down there where I've been hunting the ducks. That's where this all-purpose hunting blind is set up is what I want to show you today. Paul, the farmer that owns this land, took a V-Box wagon turned it into an all-purpose hunting blind. Coyotes, uh, where he's got a position where I was shooting ducks, so maybe I can shoot some ducks out of it. We'll see. Let's go have a look at this thing. All right, guys, this is quite the setup he's got in here. We've got uh, shelves all the way around. He's got a propane heater over there. Nice chair. Hope he's got the brakes on. I hope he's got the brakes on. Otherwise, <laughs> let's not even go there. All right, so we got some shooting ports. We've got one behind me here. Got one over here by the door. One on the other side of the door. And he's got some out the back side here. All right, now right out the door there is where I was shooting the ducks back during duck season. Had my decoys out in the Y there and the ducks would just come in up the canal. It's froze over, however, I would not trust that ice because there's cracks all over the ice. Uh, you can see where the water levels dropped about a foot and a half, which uh, tells me that ice is not safe. Although there's some crappy in there bluegill in there and there's some bass in there but we won't tell anybody about that anyway again this is private property the the farmer that owns this land has given me permission to hunt and fish here uh, which I appreciate very much uh, that farmer himself is familiar with all the other farmers around so that's not an issue for him but uh, this is quite the setup you got here the reason this is so good is because these V-boxes are all over the place. They're all over the farmlands, all around here. I mean, they're pretty much on every farm you can think of. The animals are used to it. The deer stroll down here on this dike that I'm sitting on. Uh, there's a tree stand set up over here. I'm assuming he'll be using this because it'll be warmer. Plus, he's got some heat there. This is quite the setup. Comfortable, warm, out of the wind, plenty of shelf space. Uh, I see he's got some water, he's got some coffee, he's got a pot. So when she kicks you out, this is where you come. Good to know. This is redneck ingenuity at its finest. Now I should say, I was on my way to Windsor the other day, I did see another one of these alongside a pond. It's the only other one I've seen other than this one here. But uh, you, he's done a lot of work to this. It's not just a box you're sitting in the bottom of. As you can see, it is all done up inside. You could comfortably fit three people in there. Now he's only got one chair, but you can still comfortably fit three people. I am impressed, thoroughly impressed. So this is why I brought you down here today, guys. I wanted to show you this. I, I saw pictures on Facebook. He was working on this for a while. I did see it at the farm a couple times when I was there. I must say, outstanding job. Look forward to hunting out of this thing. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I am freezing my behind off out here. I got to walk to another, maybe a couple hundred meters back to my truck. That is, that is something. I must admit, that is something. I've never seen a blind built like that before. And like I said, I look forward to hunting out of that thing. Probably take the roof off because the roof's a tarp. So you can probably pull one side of the roof off and hunt the ducks out of it. Deer, coyotes. Anything else that wants to come by. 
Anyway, it gives you an idea what you can do with a whole V-Box laying around the farm and a little bit of know-how. Oh, that's a lot of know-how. That's a lot more know-how than I got. Anyway, that is it. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you on the next one. It's windy and I'm freezing my butt. Later. Ooh, that's cold. Now here's the trick. I know, y'all thought this video was over. It just about is, hang on. Here's the trick. I gotta back all the way down this dike without putting in the drink because there's nowhere to turn around. If I put it in the drink, we got a problem. I know I said we, but I'm the one with the problem. Anyway, here we go. That gets hairy every time you do it. I'm sure the camera was all over the place, but I couldn't watch the camera and back up at the same time. See ya.